The first stage of making a continuous mattress suture is similar to a simple interrupted suture technique. After needle output through the closest edge of a wound, the primary fixing knot is made according to the rules. Further, the needle is recharged but in the opposite direction as in a P-shaped suture making technique. The third and subsequent stitches are made with alternation of the needle input direction. For prevention of the wound edges divergence at making subsequent stitches, an assistant keeps the filaments stretched in the direction of the needle output. The last fixing knot is made in the following way. The previous suture stitch is not completely tightened. The half of a free filament end is threaded under it so that the double end will appear on the one part and on the other, the single one. While drawing the ends, a loose stitch is pressed and then a knot is being made in an unusual way. At the final stage, the free filament ends of the first and last knots are cut off according to the rules.